Good afternoon, boys and girls, almost. It's uh, actually Sunday morning. We have spent the last three days again in Fayetteville, North Carolina, this time, waiting for a decent load. And what we found was one going to Providence, Rhode Island. You know, our goal has been to get up into the New England states. This will do it. It is a 13 hour and 47 minute ride. So, what we're probably going to do is we're going to go to Washington, D.C., which they have as Washington, Maryland on the map, but it's actually Washington, D.C. We're going to buy a garage in Washington. And then tomorrow we will get up and finish the load up to Providence, and then we'll buy a garage in Providence. Or maybe we'll buy both garages today, since it's easier that way. While we're hiring drivers, we do it all at one time. And buying garages, we can do both of those at the same time. And we can buy all the trucks at the same time. It makes it easier on the back end not having to go out and uh, do it again. And the reason for that is because when I buy the trucks, I always modify them, which really doesn't make any sense except for my own personal joy or whatever. I, um, I just like all my trucks to be different on the road, which no one's ever going to see unless you go to the garage one. Uh, but we're going to go over here to Coastline Mining and pick this up and take this up to Plaster and Sons in Providence, Rhode Island. And it's going to be a long video, but I am going to I am going to do some time Drive lapse safe. on this. We will do some time lapse on this. Um, we're not going to kill you with 14 hours of video, um, which would be about a two hour video. Uh, with 14 hours of driving, I'm going to guess it's going to be somewhere around two hours. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, first thing I'm going to do is get out of my driveway here. This one is a little bit easier to get out of because there is a little bit of a space between the road and the property. So it's a little bit easier to get out of. A uh, little bit of a trick to it, but not as bad as some of them. Some of them are a little bit tighter than this where the fence is right up against the road and you can't see to get out. And What I've learned is if I use the number three key, the overhead camera, what they call the chasing camera, I believe. I believe they call it the chasing camera. Let me see what it says here. No, it's the top down camera. The top down camera, then I can see both ways down the road. Turn right. Like this. And I don't have to worry about cars coming that I can't see. Now, I have learned that if you turn and hit the fuel, turn, hit the fuel, you can do better. Let me go back here to the window one because I can't drive from on top. Some people can do that. I see Trucker Play doing that. I see Sir Jambon doing it. Um, other drivers Get ready can do to that. Turn I left. just have a real issue with driving from overhead or outside. I would love to have some like drone footage of the truck is what I, what I would call it. But that's Turn not left. going to happen. Not now, anyway. I have enough trouble staying on the road this way. So, now at the stop signs, I can you know hit the key, look to the left, look to the right. Well, look to the left, look to the right. Got that backwards, but... Okay, we're going to pick up this load, and we're going to head to... Providence Road Island. Tonight we're going to stay in Washington, D.C. It's about six and a half hours after we pick up the load to Washington, D.C. And we will probably time-lapse some of that because we've seen that road a couple times already. Go straight. There's nothing new there. I did notice when I was out riding around, and I have to tell you this, we had a load down to Wilmington, and I went over to pick it up, and I got there, and uh, in real life my food was delivered. And I stopped the camera but forgot to pause the video. Or forgot to pause the game. So when I came back in, of course, the game didn't stop. It was several hours later in the game. The load was gone. And so we ended up spending another 30 hours in the shop or no, 20 hours in the shop uh, resting. I'm going to say we were doing paperwork, but... Realistically, we just screwed up and lost a load down to Wilmington. The reason I was going down to Wilmington was there was a load going from Wilmington to Portland, Maine. 
and we had enough time to get there and do a quick trip down there, pick it up, and then get go up ready to, Maine. to turn right. Would have done two things. One would have got us up into New England. And the second thing it would have done was covered part of I 40 from turn right up to I 95. It would not have covered the part from Raleigh over to I 95, but that would have been an easy fix later when we pick up something in Raleigh going out that way. But that didn't happen because I screwed up once again. So, Get ready to turn right. instead, we're going to go over here. We're going to pick up this load. It's a wheel load. Turn right. And we're going to haul it up to Providence, Rhode Island. Which will get us into New England, but it's not up into Maine. Maine is the furthest state. Um, and the problem we have with that Turn is left. The problem we have with that is that when we get up to Rhode it's Island, all over now. they're probably not going to have anything to take us up into Maine. That's not how they do that. They could. But I'm going to say they probably won't. There's our load. Well, we could go to Burlington, Vermont, which is 16 and a half hours. Oh, Lord. I, think, I don't know that I want to call the way to Vermont, though. I mean, that's a... I don't know. That's doubles. I think we're going to hold the single one. Oh, we're going to go to Raleigh. Let's haul this one up to Providence Road. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and our trailer. There's our loader right there. So we have to go around there and pick it up and then get out of Dodge. There's the trailer there. I'm going to fest the one. I think the one straight over there on the left is the one going to Raleigh. Because this is a single one. That's a double. Let's see if we can get in here and get this trailer. I think this is the way we go. Okay. Hold on the top down cam they call it. Makes it so much easier to back up and pick up trailers. Once we get attached to it, we'll get out of dodge here. We we'll have to make a wide left turn so that we can make Drive a safe. wide right turn. And they've got us blocked because we're not even touching that thing. But if, for some reason, for some reason, you get close to stuff and they get scared. Okay, now we make our wide left. A train going on. Super trucker Dan, there's your train. There's your train, Dan. Well, it won't let us go. What in the world are we doing here? We're not even near the stuff and it's stopping us. We have to go really wide because we've got a stop sign there too. We don't really want to take recomputing. Why were we recomputing? I hadn't even turned yet. Turn right. Okay. That's what we were doing. Okay. Let's go back to this camera so we can see where we're going. Get Maybe ready to want. turn left. Maybe we didn't want to see where we were going. Okay, we're off to Providence, Rhode Island. We're actually going to go to Washington, D.C. Turn left. And once we get on 95, we might do some time lapse and put on some music. And because we've seen all that before. There's nothing new there. Now to shorten the video down enough to make it a reasonable length.
Now, I was watching Sir Jambon just a few minutes ago on his live stream video. And I found something, a couple things rather unique Get about ready to his turn video left. that I don't have on mine. Turn left. Okay. Um, one thing is he was hauling behind a tractor trailer. He was hauling a an Airstream trailer. Well, I guess we're going to have to let them go. Thank you for stopping me. We're going to have to let them go because we could have we made that corner with them sitting there, couldn't we? The car right on our backside. But he was hauling an Airstream trailer, which was pretty cool. Which I don't understand why he was hauling it to Walmart or Walmart's. But that's okay. He was hauling an Airstream trailer. And I also noticed there was not one other vehicle anywhere on the road with him. Now, one of two things. Either he's got a mod that did that, or they see him drive. Get ready to turn left. So that is one crazy driver. He will run off the road and pass, or overtake people, as he calls it. Um, turn left. He will do that. Okay, we need to get on 95 north up here. If we do that, then we're probably going to do a time lapse up to around Philadelphia. Well, probably up to just before we get to Washington, actually. And then we'll go to Washington, and then off camera, I'll buy a garage and hire Stay right. and buy trucks. And then I'll do the same thing in Providence, Rhode Island, so that when we get there, we don't have to do it again just makes it easier for me to do it that way. Even though I don't like to do it until we discover a city, I think since we're going there, it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay to do it that way. Now, I have never been to New England in real life, but I think it'll be fun. Got to my drink here. I need a drink in real life. Ah, yes. The pause that refreshes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so once we get up to speed here, we'll probably put on a time lapse. I'll go ahead and drive it, and we'll just put on a time lapse so you don't have to ride the whole six hours to Washington, D.C., because we've seen it all before. This is I-95. We've been up this road before. It's nothing new. Um, so, I may actually put it up both ways. That would work, too. I'd put it up both ways. Take the, Do a time-lapse version and a straight-through version for people that want to watch the, all the scenery. I may do both of them. Doesn't hurt to do that, right? I might do that. That'd be kind of cool, actually, to do a straight-through version. And uh, for those that want to see that, and then do a time-lapse for people that want to uh, skip over the parts we've already seen. You know, if you're in this to, uh, if you're riding along to see new scenery, it doesn't make sense to ride the same roads all the time, does it? Listen to me, because I will, you know, I'm trying to talk during the videos because it keeps me being so bored. And, you know, maybe learn something about the area that I'm, Places that I've been before, I know something about them. I can be kind of like a tour guide. Or I can be a bumper car if we don't get this car out of our way. Just kidding. Or am I? Okay. Um, looks like rain up ahead. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. We seem to get a lot of that. Go ahead and put it on cruise control here in a little bit. We can get some speed build up. Yeah, we're gonna put it on cruise control at 62 miles an hour, 63 miles an hour. And hopefully that'll work since the car ahead of us is not doing 65. There's police over there waiting on somebody. Hope you didn't get hope you guys didn't go out and party too bad while we were sitting in Fayette and getting me in trouble. 
or get yourself in trouble. Stay left. Stay left. Well, we're going to stay on 95. We're just going to stay on this till we get to Washington, D.C., even though the, the map shows it's Washington, Maryland. I'm not sure where the people live that make these mods. Some of them I know, SCS. Uh, I believe that comes out of Czechoslovakia or somewhere. So it's understandable that they wouldn't know local things. But um, so I don't know where all the modders live. They're all over the world. But um, it would be really cool if there were like a place you'd go and say this is incorrect and somebody fix it. But in this instance, because this is just a fill-in mod, as I call it, until the SES comes out with the actual states, um, there's not a whole lot of people fixing these mods. They are not paid mods, so there's no one getting paid to do it. And um, so I'm not sure that they're really making a lot of changes in them. Sign in Fayetteville, North Carolina, that said Birmingham on I-95, and that's not correct at all. Birmingham is first of all in uh, Alabama and nowhere near I-95. But that's okay. Again, it doesn't affect the playing of the game, just the aesthetics. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about the game. I'm not. Uh, I love the game. It's just there are some things that could be changed if uh, someone were doing that. And I don't know if there is anybody doing that. Again, I, I think this is just a a mod that we're going to have until the SCS comes out with each state and then they will um, hopefully they'll integrate the two of them like if for instance in this one has Idaho and Colorado so when they come out to Idaho and Colorado maybe they'll update this one to take it out so that it doesn't interfere with the other one or something um, I don't know I don't know how they're going to do that yet I'm not the, the powers that be on that, so I have no idea. I would like to keep coast to coast. I would like to keep coast to coast because I, I like this game, this, this mod. But I also uh, like the details in the paid mod. And they have more roads. Like going to Wilmington, they would have had us going down 95 to 74 and then across 74. Stay left. And the reality is that if you were going to do that, you would have gone down 87, which would have taken you at a uh, southeast direction instead of south and then east. But, um, and I noticed too that going from Fayetteville to Rochester, New York, they have you going through Cleveland, which in reality you'd probably go up 79 out of West Virginia into Pittsburgh to Erie and across that way. Or you could go up through New York. We might get stopped here. Yep, I knew we were going to stop the last time. Um, so. You know, there are some things like that to come out in the paid mod that are not in the free mod. Well, said there was a scale. Do you see a scale? Is there a scale? Here we go, here's a scale. Damn, it's kind of down the road a little ways, wasn't it? Gave us enough notice for that one. Rerouting. Rerouting. Now, there are, there are ways in the settings that you can change the voice on the GPS to different accents, different languages. Uh, it's pretty cool. See how much we weigh here. Well, 84,269. We're always overweight. You know, 80,000 is the limit for, North Carolina, for the United States. But we're always over, no matter what we're hauling. I mean, I think we'll wait for this guy and this truck to get by. Okay. They got the bypass after they came in. 
Now, some truckers, I've heard truckers say that they don't understand why they do that. Um, why they haven't come into the scale and then not weigh. Well, the, the scales are not just the scales. It's also an inspection. And sometimes they can do a drive-by inspection to see if they see anything that would warrant them calling you in for a better inspection, for a more detailed inspection. Um, sometimes that's what happens. You know, they, they call you into the scale and then they give you the bypass after you get in. And truckers, sometimes I've heard real truckers say they don't understand why they do that. Well, that's why they do that, because it's actually a drive-by inspection. They have cameras. They can see um, if you have a hose hanging down or something going on that they need to address. Uh, that's why they do that. Uh, just a little bit of trucking trivia for you. And I know truck drivers that don't know that. But that's why they do it. They, uh, they do have a method to their madness, as they say. They're not just pulling into the scale to annoy you and to uh, aggravate you. There is a reason for it. There's a truckload of hay up in front of us that, uh, well, I don't know. Trucker Clay can tell you about that one. Uh, he hauled a load of hay one time. And he didn't cover it. And when he got to deliver it, they wouldn't accept it because it was not covered. And it rained. And that causes something called mold in hay. And they can't use it for feed. So... Uh, that should be covered, especially because it looks like we're going to get rain up ahead. Now, that's one thing that we don't have in the game, and that is we don't have tarps. If you have a flatbed load, they don't have a way to cover your load. They don't have a way to do that. Uh, in real life, you'd have to you'd have to what they call tarp it or cover it somehow, usually with tarps. And the reason for that is to keep the weather off of it. And sometimes you have a front tarp over pipe to keep the air from going through it and lifting it up for a control factor. Um, but they don't have that in the game. They don't have that feature. That would be a cool mod to have. It is if you were, if you were hauling a flatbed and you needed a tarp, you should be able to hit a button and it tarp your load for you. That would be a cool feature. But, you know, really, the, real, the reality of the game is so detailed. I mean, from a car that is in your mirror and the next to you that it passes you, and, you know, that kind of thing, that, that just amazes me that that happens. Usually, uh, now I have seen in this game where there's a truck or something, and then it turns and it disappears. We've seen that, haven't we? Where there's a truck or a car next to you, and it turns, and then suddenly it's gone. It just fades away into the whatever, into the oblivion. It just fades away. You don't know where it went. But, um, yeah, the details in this game are amazing. Like the buildings along the road, has a water tower. It just amazes me how much detail there is in this game. When I started playing video games, it was a long, long time ago, and the details just were not this graphic. Of course, we didn't have the graphics cards we do now either. We have some great graphics and the ability to have great graphics. You know, I have a, a new computer. I have a gaming computer, actually. When I bought this, I told them it was for gaming and it was set up for that. So, um, now we should. I saw a sign back there that says Richmond, but I don't know that Richmond is on the map as far as being able to buy a garage or discover or pick up loads or anything. I don't believe Richmond is on there. I don't remember seeing Richmond. I think it went from Rocky Mount and the Stay next one left was Washington. And then continue straight. I don't believe there was any Richmond on there, which amazes me because Richmond is a Go straight. size city. Now we are going to go to Washington, D.C., where we're going to spend the night because I don't like to drive after dark. And I don't want to do a video after dark because you can't see anything. You know, we're here to see the sights. 
And we're not going to see very many sights if it's nighttime. So we're going to we're going to we're going to exit up here somewhere. Not sure what time or what exit, but we will exit up here somewhere, at Washington D.C. And we will buy a garage there and a garage in <coughs> Providence, Rhode Island. And then we will see where we go from there. Deliver the load in Providence, go to the garage in Providence and get some rest. And buy some garages and trucks and whatever. Well, we're probably going to do that from Washington, D.C., not when we get to Providence, simply because we can stay at the garage in Washington and, and sleep. I didn't see any rest areas in Washington. I did look at the map. I didn't see any, which doesn't mean there aren't any. I just didn't see any. And I know some of our garages, You can, if you buy the uh, large garage, which is to buy a garage and then upside upgrade it, uh, when you do that, you get fuel. Well, some of the garages, it doesn't have the green flashing neon thing that you're supposed to go hit to buy the fuel, but you can still go and buy fuel, even though that's not flashing. So, you can still, you can still fuel the truck. But, it is what it is, right? Like I said, this game isn't perfect, this version, this mod, but it works. It does work. It'll get you where you want to be, right? Just song like that, like an old pickup truck. Not much to look at, but it'll get you where you want to go. I hope I marked the map for Washington, D.C. I hope I didn't buy it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Might not have marked it. We may end up driving right on into Providence, Rhode Island, or finding a rest area. I think I marked the map to take us into the garage. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Because when I looked at the map for the load, it didn't show any stop in Washington, D.C. So, I don't know. But it's uh, about 5 p.m. I like to stop around 7 to 8, sometime in there. So we get up in the morning, it'll be daylight, and we can head out again. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we'll head to Philadelphia if we didn't hit the map for the Washington, D.C. location. You already know what's going to happen. We're going to try to pass this person, and then there's going to be an exit or something. It's generally what happens, not always. But it does happen to me sometimes. That's a big deal. What that building is. Actually, our next stop would be Baltimore or not. Not Philadelphia. Either way, we have a garage in both places. Another reason to buy garages is because on Stay this left. And then continue straight. On this mod, there are not a lot of rest Go stops. Go straight. I hope that's not Washington, D.C. we just passed. Stay left, and then continue straight. Go straight. I can't, the road comes. I don't know, I think we passed Washington, D.C., folks. I believe we did. We were going to end up in Baltimore. Still going five miles an hour over the speed limit. We're not getting the ding-ding yet, so. Now we're getting the ding-ding.
I did mark the map for Washington, D.C., but I think when we picked up the load, it took it off. So, we might be heading to Baltimore for the night. But we can still pick up a garage in Washington, D.C. We can still pick up that garage while we're here. Or maybe not. We'll see. If we discover it. I don't want to pick up garages unless I discover the city. I mean, it's just not my goal. We may end up doing that because there's going to be a lot of cities we're not going to get loads to. And there are a lot of garages. I, I believe there was over 100 garages on this mod. I don't believe there is. Yeah, that's Baltimore right there. Go straight. So maybe we'll go to Philadelphia. It's still daylight. Still have two hours. I think we'll make it to Philadelphia. That'll be about halfway. That would be better. That would put us over. That puts us a lot closer for tomorrow. So we don't have as much to drive tomorrow. Go straight. I did take the, the fatigue thing off of here so we can drive all night if we wanted to. Not my preference. I really thought we were going to get rain. I didn't see any rain yet. Hmm, it really looked like rain up there. But anyway, you see we're making way too much money over here. We need to go spend some money. So I actually, you know, I did the math just for grins. And... Um, I could actually buy every garage that they have that, that are left and still have a little bit of money in the bank. So, not sure I want to do that. That would be quite an undertaking. And then, then you make so much money, there's absolutely nothing to do with it then, to let it build up. Because you would have, you know, before long you'd have a billion dollars in the bank and nothing to buy. The other trucks, I don't get like a fuel report. I don't get like every time they deliver or, or get a load, I don't get like where they stop and buy fuel. I don't see that come across. What I get is if you go in and you look at their log book or their, you go and look at the uh, economy sheet for the garage, it'll tell you how much you spend in fuel and how much you spend on salaries and repairs and how much your profit is per day. And then you can do a seven day report but it doesn't, every load, like when it down there where that person's making money, it doesn't say when they stop and buy fuel, you don't get a report. You only get a report when they make profit. And it only tells you the profit. It doesn't tell you what they got paid for the load. It doesn't break it down for you. Um, it just says what the profit was, how much you paid the driver, and how much fuel for the day or for the week. Now, you can go into each individual driver on the, on the settings under, garage, under driver manager and click on the driver, either on the table or on a map, and it will break it down to their logbook. It will tell you where they went and how much profit they made and how many miles they went. But it does not tell you about fuel or breakdowns or anything like that. So I don't know if their trucks don't break down. I don't know. Mine does. Delaware. Yeah, my truck breaks down because I was at my own garage and it broke down in Pittsburgh and there was no shop and they had to tow it to Cleveland. And I don't know why it did that. It just cut off and said engine malfunction. Well, with the new trucks though, you have computers. So it might have been a computer thing. I don't know. Maybe not up. I have no idea. It didn't tell me. It just said it was 3500 and some dollars, almost $3,600 to tow it. And then it was over $800 to fix it. So whatever it was, it wasn't major. The towing was four times what the cost of repairs were. But now we're in Pennsylvania. Oh, we're in New Jersey. Okay. Okay, but we're not going to Philadelphia. Maybe we're gonna to have to drive straight through and because it is 7 o'clock at night, and I don't think we're going to Philadelphia, folks. And we don't have a garage up here. And I haven't seen any rest areas at all. Um, sometimes it's the uh, way stations are rest areas, but I haven't seen that. So I guess we're not going to... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
I know if we go through New York City, they have a garage we can buy. But I'm not sure we're gonna stay left. Not sure where we're going. And then go. continue straight. That's gonna take you to Philadelphia. Okay. Go straight. I don't know where we are, folks, as far as on the map. I know we're on 95. I thought we were on 95. If we're on 95. We should be going through Philadelphia, right? But we're over in New Jersey, which is east of Philadelphia. So apparently, we're not on 95, are we? Could be. I don't know. The map could have us on 95. It's really not that they're going to stop up here if someone saw some lights. Probably should have exited out of the game and or escaped out of the game, they call it, and see where the rest area is. Because this is new road here, so this is not 95 we've been on before. 95 does go all the way up to Maine, so we should, should have gone through Philadelphia, but they bypassed us, so. Maybe we're on a 295 or a 495 or something bypassing something. And I think the next city that we're going to see is New York. I don't think they have anything in New Jersey on the game. At least not in this part. I'm, I'm not even sure there's any cities in New Jersey. I don't think I've seen any. I kind of looked over the map, but I don't remember all the cities and things. I know that they did not have Richmond. So, let's see now, what time did we leave? we leave? We left at 11. So, if we roll right into Providence, we could be in Providence by midnight or 1 o'clock, so. But I really didn't want to do that. I really wanted to show the scenery, but we might just roll on into Providence tonight and pick up the garages from there. I don't know, boys and girls. I don't know. I don't see any rest areas. This is like you're out west, my gosh. I know it's not like this up in northeastern uh, United States. It is, a, there's a lot of people up in northeastern. So I, I, I don't believe this is accurate here. Try not to make the car and fly off the truck over there. Again, we're going to do a time lapse of part of that uh, first part at least. So, shorten the video up. And we may just go ahead and play the whole thing as well. We're at 38 minutes, so, yeah, we might just play the whole thing out or we may do a time lapse. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's a very long video. 38 minutes and we have about four hours left of driving so that would make it right around an hour and 15 minute video so i may do that and do a time lapse just to for those that don't want to watch the full video i'm sorry we're driving at night i didn't want to do this i wanted to stop somewhere and rest so we can see the scenery and see the sights but sometimes it doesn't happen that way, folks. Just like real life, you don't always get what you want. There's a song like that, too, but don't always get what you need. Don't always get what you want, but you always get what you need. Stay left and then continue straight. That sign said Providence on it, so. Go straight. We haven't passed New York City yet, I don't believe. Maybe we have. I don't Maybe this is New York City. I have no idea. I have not been this way before. I think they get over the left lane because I knew they were going to stop the turn. I just knew they were going to do it to us.
Well, it's almost nine o'clock. We've got about three more hours. We should be there. Yep, three hours and seven minutes. Okay. We might just roll Stay left, there. and then continue straight. Can't seem to uh, find a place to pull off. Could have go could straight. Have, I could have hit the escape. We're New York now, so this is should be New York City coming up. I don't know if we're going through New York City. I know. It looked like the game did have you going through New York City. And I'm not sure if 95 goes through New York City or if it goes north of New York City. But it is what it is. This time of night, hopefully there won't be a lot of traffic in New York City. I'm curious how Sir Jambon did that with no traffic. I mean, there was not one car on the road anywhere. You know, we have traffic on this one. They didn't have any traffic, no cars, no trucks. No buses, no ambulances, fire trucks, nothing. There was nothing. He had the whole road to himself. Maybe I'll message him and ask him if that's part of that mod he was playing, because I think he was playing um, multiplayer, which is Trucker's multiplayer. I think that's what he was playing, which is another mod for this game. I mean, if that's the case, maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to play that one. I think there's a difference. Um, I did leave a message for them about Canada Dream and Viva Mexico. That when you go to download them, there was malware and um, all kinds of issues with the site where they had everything. Apparently, somebody had uploaded all that. That was in the files themselves, I'm guessing. I don't know. I know that the... Uh, they were reported because when I went to the site, they said that it was a dangerous site. So I did not obviously go there. Uh, one, my browser would not let me go there. And second, even if it did, I would not download anything from them because it's dangerous. So we are... Just over two hours away. Well, we're not going to stop, folks. But there is, I haven't seen a rest area in the last eight hours. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I want to go to New England, but I want to see New England. I didn't just go there. Now we're just seeing white lines and pavement. Stay left, and then continue straight. Yeah, it's straight up 95. We're not getting off the highway. Go straight. Providence in Boston, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting up towards New England. There you go, turn on our beacons. I don't know if we had to, but we did. I'm not going anymore. Trying to ride with the high beams on, but this car is coming towards us, and you will get a ticket for that if, if one of them happens to be a policeman. There's a truck up ahead of us, so we can't turn them on now. I want to see some of the something other than these white lines.
Well, folks, uh, sorry about this. I thought we were going to see some of New England, but I guess we'll have to wait until tomorrow. See it on the way out. Cause I almost, I can almost say that I don't believe there's going to be anything in Providence going up further into New England. Um, if there is, I would be surprised because generally what they have are longer trips on this. Now I have seen some in-town stuff. I've seen some like Fable to Wilmington, Fable to Charlotte, that cut that type of stuff. So it could happen up here. I don't know. We can't check the load board until we discover the city. And once we discover the city, then we can check the load board from anywhere. But they will not let us check the load board for every city until we uh, discover it. And I believe even if we buy a garage there, we can't just, we can't do it until we discover the city. Because you can buy a garage and not be there. Now, starting out in the game, when you start out in the game, you cannot buy a garage without going there. But once you own, I believe it's five garages, then you can buy them online. You don't have to go there. There's a real estate agent that will be happy to take your money. And you can buy them through, uh, through the computer. In fact, after you buy five garages, I believe, they tell you that. You get an email from them. So that's kind of cool. what city we're in, but there's something with street lights. I don't usually see street lights out in the country. Well, we're in Providence, folks. We're almost there. We're going to get around this truck. We'll get around them so we can get off the exit up here, looks like. Looks like Stay we're right, folks. and then exit right. Again, I'm sorry that we drove at night. I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to do that. I really Exit right. didn't want to do that, folks. I really wanted to see the New England states. Turn left. The yield sign, that's weird. You need to have a stop sign, not a yield sign. And my fingers are sore from holding the key down that long. Wow. Okay, we're going to go ahead, folks. Not that flashing light is up under the bridge. But well, what do we do here, folks? What did we do? What we did there. Really see back there, so must have hit a curb or something. I don't know, but anyway, we're almost there. That's not too out of a video 50 minutes, It'd be about 55 minutes, less than an hour, so it's not too terribly bad, right? Turn right, there's a gas station, and then continue the straight. We don't have a go straight and then turn right. What in the world was that? They had us going through the gas station. Turn right. What in the world was that, boys and girls? They had us going through the gas station. See that on the GPS? Yeah, I don't think they would have liked that. Get ready to turn left. Turn left and deliver this thing and then find our garage. Turn left. There's a rest area. Rest area right there at the dealer or the service center. Is that a service shop or is that a dealer? That's a service shop, okay. So if it was a dealer, we could go over there and discover it. Go wide here. We are finished. Yes, we are. We have made it, boys and girls.
Okay, we've made it. Make sure we're not going back in at night. We can do this one. We can park that, hopefully. Hopefully we can get in here. I don't know how close we are to the fence back there, whatever it is. Nope. Nope, we didn't. It's a little bit wider to get in here. Come on, we can see we can get a little flash going on here. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. Now we got it. Okay, we've made it. Wasn't too bad at 53 minutes. And we raised up a level. There you go. Now we have wheels of skill. Let's see what job they have coming out of here for tomorrow. Well, he wants to pick up one of these. Can we pick up explosives or another just in time delivery? Pick up another just in time delivery, even though we're not that good at those. Let's go and pick that one up. Gives us another skill. And they have one going to Jackson, Tennessee. It's the only thing they have coming out of this particular place. But we're not caring about that because we're not going to haul anything out here today. We're going to go somewhere and get some sleep. Maybe over to that service place, get some sleep, fix any damage to the truck that we always have. And then we'll buy some garages, probably Baltimore, Washington, D.C., and Providence. And then we'll see where we go from here. So I appreciate y'all riding along. And we will see you on the next one. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And do the same over on Peterbilt 352RV, my other channel. And we will see you when we see you.